Hey everyone, so this is going to be a video to show you how to um, improve your Android experience um, with a Samsung Galaxy Tab or a Android phone. It doesn't have to be the Captivate, although this is what I'm going to be using to show you some stuff. So, um, we'll be looking at a couple of things that will help you uh, improve or extend your customization capabilities. Most of you, or well, some of you will know half the stuff I'm going to be talking about, but um, for those who do not know what I'm going to be uh, talking about, this will be a pretty, pretty good uh, tutorial, I think. Um, so let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is going to be Widget Locker um, Pro. I don't know if it's Pro, I forget but um, widget locker this is it and you get a whole lot that you can do with it I don't use it on my Captivate but on my Galaxy Tab to give it that honeycomb look I use it the cool thing about this is um, you can set up several different um, unlock bars um, that you can set to open an application like you can have something that opens your um, device up to the phone or or whatever you can just set it to open a random application uh, browser brightness whatever whatever you want so it's a great little um, app there is a lot you can do with it um, and it's pretty cool so that was Widget Locker Pro or Widget Locker. Um, it's a it's a decent app. So it's not the best, as you can see. Sometimes when you unlock it, it'll go all the way and then just slide back down before it unlocks the screen. That's a little tacky, but most of the time it just works out perfectly. So that would be um, Widget Locker Pro. So the second thing I'm going to be talking about is ADW Launcher X, ADW X. I use them uh, both on my Captivate, uh, as you can see here, and my Galaxy Tab over here. Uh, if you're familiar with the Galaxy Tab, you should know that this is very different, that there is, um, it's usually like a phone there's not much you can do with, about it it's basically a captivate bigger captivate or bigger bigger phone so ADW X actually helps change this experience it's a very good launcher um, things you can do with it let me just go here ADW settings and if you go to UI settings you can remove your dock you can have this is what's cool about it you can change the desktop columns and rows so for my galaxy tab I've set it to 10 10 columns and 7 rows I believe uh, 8 8 rows so uh, and that makes it more of a tablet because um, it's bigger there's a lot more real estate you can do a lot of stuff um, and now it's basically honeycomb without honeycomb and um, I did a video on this it wasn't very detailed but um, I might do another one um, it's in my channel if you want you should go go and check it out if you have a galaxy tab I just talk about it and I give you guys a link to where you can find it on um, XDA so that you can pursue it um, so here with uh, my Captivate what I've done is I've given it five um, five columns and five rows meaning I have a lot of space here um, and the thing I forgot to mention is you can have scrollable widgets with um, ADW launcher well, most launchers do that so it's no big deal but it's still something pretty cool um, so that was ADW Launcher and uh, what we're going to be talking about next is so you guys know how the Captivate is um, 480 by 800 pixels 
resolution um, and it it isn't fair to the Super AMOLED screen because in my opinion it kicks the Atrix's ass like halfway to hell so so we should try to make it more of a uh, HD screen right well with LCD density changer you can do that you can actually reduce um, density here as you can see right now we're on stock 240 I put it back to show it to you guys if you can see here uh, everything's a little cluttered uh, it's too close um, let's see if there's something I can show you um, let's go to XDA this might take a while shouldn't let's see um but anyway everything is closed by it it really isn't fair to the super amoled screen so um yeah it's taking longer than i expected so there you go so here's um what you can um this is the control i'm going to be changing the um density now to 210 and um i'll be right back Alright, so I got my phone all rebooted, and here it is. Uh, okay. And you should clearly see that everything is a lot smaller. And that's not a bad thing. Um, because it shows how good the, uh, the Super AMOLED screen is. Like, uh, if you think about the Atrix or uh, any other device, it, it just started up, so it's, it's a little laggy. Um... If you think about the Atrix and how it has the QHD display, that's, that's a load of crap if, the, if it doesn't really look that good. So if you do this to your Captivate, it's actually something you can show off. And, um, you know, if there's like some dude with an Atrix and they're like, yo, look at my screen, see how good it is, you can just pop out, captivate, and shock everyone, well, if they know about phones. And, um, as you can see here, there's a lot more room, I believe, and, um, there's more stuff showing up. It's a lot easier to read emails. I, I would show you my, uh, Gmail, but it's got my emails in there, so I'd rather not. But, um, yeah, it's definitely worth it. There are some problems that come with it though, um, if you, like there, there are a few scaling issues, if you open up the calendar, you can clearly see it, it's, it's messed up, um, but, see the thing you can do is get this thing here, this is pure grid calendar, I think, um, yeah, I, I can't really remember. I, I yeah, it has to be pure grid calendar. But um it's a great application. My battery's about to die, so it's getting a little dark. Um and it's a great little widget that you can quickly access here, you touch something and everything in your Google Calendar, Facebook, everything just shows up right there. So it's a great little widget, it's very convenient. And, um, so there you go. This is, um, LCD Density Changer, and it's done a great job here. It's actually made me love my Captivate even more. And this is partly why I did the the 5x5, five five, um, launcher. So, uh, well, there's a lot more room, and it looks better. So, um... One thing I forgot to talk about uh, in ADW was uh, the fact that you can change the screen transition, well, the home page transition um, animations. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I can't really remember where it is. There's a lot, a lot of options here, so you can get a little overwhelmed sometimes, but um, it's, no, it's not in there. It's definitely worth it you have a lot of fun messing around with it um yeah so let me just show you here 
uh, there we go, screen transition effect, you can turn it effect 6, and just be blown away, because, I mean, look at that, you got like 12 animations that you can choose from, and do as much as you want, um, I use it on my Galaxy Tab as well, I do the more of a carousel looking um, transition to make it look a little more like honeycomb um, so yeah there is uh, well it's not related to the video but yeah I won't talk about that I'll just make another video on how to do this for the galaxy tab and anyway uh, that was the thing I forgot about ADWX and um, that should be it for me and I hope you guys like this video because um, I've been looking forward to doing this for a while. Just been really busy with exams. I just had one. And um, so I hope you guys try, try this stuff out and have fun with it. I'll see you guys later.